Welcome back to the loop training. In this section, we're going to cover appraisal types and how to select the right appraisal type. You can also reference your training manual for details about appraisal types. Whenever you start a new, new appraisal, you always have to select the appraisal type. Let's go and we'll find Sally Loop's information. So we search for Sally. We identify her record. We click Save and Return. And now we have the ability to add an appraisal type to determine the type of appraisal that she needs. In order to determine the type of an appraisal a customer needs, you'll need to ask a set of interview questions to help you understand what they need the appraisal for. Let's go over the types of appraisals so that you understand the types of questions you'll need to ask. An estate appraisal is utilized in the administration of the estate of a deceased individual to establish payment of in the inheritance tax or for fair division of the estate property among the heirs. The estate appraisal is always based on the fair market value. Another type of an appraisal is a fair market value appraisal. This is defined by tre Treasury regulations as the price at which the property would change hands between a willing buyer and a willing seller, neither being under any compulsion to buy or sell, and both having reasonable knowledge of the relevant facts. Fair market value covers multiple types of appraisals, including the estate appraisal, a donation appraisal, the antique appraisal or vintage appraisal, a hypothetical appraisal, resale, comparison, and liquidation appraisals. Another type of an appraisal is an insurance appraisal. An insurance appraisal is desired by a client in order to insure their gems or jewelry. Most of our clients are looking for an insurance appraisal. Clients may also be interested in a liquidation appraisal. The liquidation appraisal is the owner's decision to convert his or her assets or jewelry to cash. As with an estate appraisal, values on this type of appraisal are normally lower than on the appraisals for replacement value. You also have the opportunity to select appraisal when the appraisal is not for liquidation nor insurance purposes. This will provide a description of the item and has all the attributes of a basic appraisal, but reflects the point of sale value. Clients may also be in need of a collateral appraisal. A collateral appraisal is utilized when a party wishes to offer their gems or jewelry items in lieu of cash for a business transaction. Because a lender is generally unwilling to potentially wait a lengthy period of time for the items to be sold at retail fair market value, a collateral appraisal must reflect the cash value that the items can be readily converted into in the near future. This limitation of time necessitates the calculations of value to be based on the fair market value at below wholesale level, with jewelry mountings being evaluated purely upon the intrinsic smelted cash value of the precious metal based on the prevailing market base price on the appraisal date. Customers may be in need of a certificate of sale. Similar to an appraisal or point of sale appraisal, this describes the item and has all the attributes of a basic appraisal, but reflects the point of sale value. It is generally generated by the person selling the item. Some of our clients are in need of a diamond report. Clients with a loose diamond or diamonds may require this type of an appraisal. This provides a detailed evaluation of the loose diamond. It would also include a plot diagram. Clients with colored stone or multiple stones may require a colored stone report. This provides a detailed evaluation of the colored stone. A charitable contributions appraisal is needed when jewelry is donated to charity, such as philanthropic organizations, educational institutions, and other public institutions. In this case, the donor may be entitled to a tax deduction. The estimation of value is based on fair market value. As in the case of an estate appraisal, the donation appraisal is subject to certain IRS regulations. Finally, some of our clients are in need of a hypothetical appraisal. This is an appraisal made on an item of jewelry that has not been seen by the appraiser. 
The jewelry item may no longer exist or may not be in possession of the party requesting the appraisal. This type of appraisal is pure supposition and it is based on information supplied by the client and as such is considered to be true with little or no proof unless subjected to a court environment. In our example for Sally Loop, we'll select an insurance appraisal. That concludes our section on appraisal types for this new appraisal for Sally Loop. Thank you again for joining me for this section of the training. I hope to see you in the next section where we begin to add items and components to Sally's appraisal.